In computer architecture, the bandwidth or the instruction cycle or cycles per instruction cycles per instruction also called CPI um, are two of the ways in which we measure the performance of a processor and so we'll need to be able to convert back and forth between bandwidth and CPI so bandwidth is the inverse of your instruction cycle. So let's do some examples. Suppose your bandwidth is 500 MIPS. So MIPS is millions of instructions per second. So what is your CPI? How many cycles does it take for instructions to be completed from this type of a processor? So the CPI is equal to 1 over the bandwidth, which is 1 over okay, 500 millions. Okay, so a million is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 instructions per second. Okay, so let's simplify the bottom in scientific notation. This is 5 times 10 to the, well let's count the number of zeros. We have 1, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we have 10 to the 8 instructions per second, which we can now rewrite as 1 over 5 times 1 over 10 to the 8. And I'm going to invert my units right now to be seconds per instruction. Okay. So 1 over 5 is 0 0.2 and 10 to the minus 8 is 10. Sorry, 10, 1 over 10 to the 8 is 10 to the minus 8. So we did that by multiplying top and bottom by 10 to the minus 8. Okay. Um, notice also that to go from here to here, we use a property that A um, over B times C over D is A times C over B times D. So we have rewritten our fraction that way. So now, let's rewrite this 0 0.2 as 2 times 10 to the minus 1. So note that 0 0.2 is 2 times 10 to the minus 1 because it's equal to 2 over 10, which is also equal to 1.5. So these are all equivalent ways of representing 0 0.2. So why do we want to do that? Well, we want to do that because we recognize that 10 to the minus 1 times 10 to the minus 8 gives us 10 to the minus 9, which is pico. Okay, so let's bring back our units. So here we have pico. So I can now write this as 2 oops, pico seconds per instruction. 
so I can either underline my answer or put a box around it. Let's do another example. Suppose the bandwidth is a thousand nips. Okay, so just rewrite that one thousand times a million instructions per second. In other words, we have ten to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten to the nine instructions per second. So our cycles per second, cycles per instruction, sorry, is equal to one over our bandwidth, which is one over ten to the nine instructions per second. So if we multiply top and bottom by minus 9, we get 10 to the minus 9 on the top, and seconds per instruction as our units. So 10 to the minus 9 is the same as 1 times 10 to the minus 9. which is the same as one nanosecond per instruction. So this is our answer. Okay. Let's do our third example. Let's suppose bandwidth is 40 MIPS. Okay, so what is this CPI? CPI is 1 over B, 1 over 40 times 10 to the 6. This is simplified as 40 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6. And seconds per instruction. So this is the same as 1 over 4 times 10 to the 7, which is 1 over 4 times 1 over 10 to the 7. This gives us 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 7. Let's carry on our units again. So rewriting this to be 25 times 10 to the minus 2 times 10 to the minus 7. So again, that is because 0 0.25 is the same as 25 over 100, which is the same as 25 times 10 to the minus 2. And the reason we wanted to do that is because now we have 10 to the minus 9 here. And 10 to the minus 9 is a desirable quantity to have because 10 to the minus 9 is nano. So we can write our answer as 25 nano seconds per instruction. So this is our answer here. Now what